Open Arms Lutheran Child Development Centers. Beginning just 20 years ago in Atlanta, Georgia, Open Arms Center has now touched nearly 6,000 children each day with the good news of Jesus' love for them. Here, two families share very different stories of how Open Arms has made a difference in their lives. Krista, at age three, gave a simple but elegant testimony to her cardiac surgeon. Linda, a mother, wife, and businesswoman, shares how Open Arms brought Jesus into her home and how they now appreciate their life with God. And May 9th, she had open heart surgery to repair this membrane. She went into surgery. Um, she was excited and did great. I cried, of course, but she was, she was perfectly calm. She went into surgery, came out of surgery, did great, woke up, had all of her tubes taken out. She was released from the hospital 72 hours later. And we went back to the hotel in Arizona. And the next day we woke up and I said, what do you want to do today? And she said, I think I want to go shopping. She is such a tough little girl. And that just kind of shows how she handled this whole thing. At one point after her surgery, a couple days later, decided that she was kind of lonely and she was really missing her friends. And so we called Open Arms and we talked to her teacher for a couple minutes on the phone. Did you talk to Miss Karina? Yeah. And she held up the phone and all of her friends yelled, we love you, Krista, and we miss you, Krista. And Krista just, you know, was revived and it was so exciting to her. And it meant so much to know that, that everybody was thinking about her and praying about her. And before we left, <laughs> before we left, all of her friends put together this whole bag full of toys and presents and things to remind her of them while she was gone. Her teacher made us this poster that had two hands and Krista was in the middle and on each of the fingers was one of her friends from her class. And the poster said, we will use our helping hands to pray for you. And she would spend hours just looking at that poster and telling us that she was thinking about her friends. All right, so the day before surgery on Monday, we went and saw Krista's cardiolo cardiologist as well as her cardiac surgeon, Dr. Teodori. And so we went and saw the cardiologist, or the uh, surgeon, and the surgeon, um, Dr. Teodori, checked Krista out and went through the whole um, check up before surgery and, and tried to explain Krista uh, what was going to happen and she has a very matter-of-fact um, understanding of the surgery and that he's going to go in and cut my heart open and fix my heart and that is what she told him and uh, when she was in the process of describing that he said okay and what do you think I'm going to do in there and she said well I think you're going to see Jesus in there and he kind of was speechless for a few minutes and he said okay I guess I should see Jesus in there and he, she said you're gonna tell him hi for me I said okay tell him hi my journey with open arms started about five years ago and my husband and I had uh, actually been born and raised in Fairbanks had tried to have babies for 10 years of marriage and so when we were finally blessed with our bundle of joy you better believe we were gonna be very very uh, adamant about making sure she went to a very safe place, somewhere that we felt comfortable. And from the day that Open Arms opened its doors, um, just knowing about it from a child care facility place, we knew that that's where we wanted our children to go. If I would have had a two phone line coming into my house and I would have had Ed McMahon on one line saying I won the million dollars and if I would have had Open Arms on the other saying you got in, I would have just no question taken the Open Arms call. It was, it was a dream come true. At that time that Nicole got in she was a year and a half old and that was five years ago we've been with open arms for five years now open arms from the day we walked in from the day we toured the facility uh, has been amazing it's been such a family environment so even just from that very first time not even knowing that we would be attending here we had so much uh, attention and one-on-one -on -one focus and just we could really see the true desire for not daycare but child care child development and everybody treats us just just like family in such a fabulous wonderful way what is very interesting is religion and religious foundation and I hate to say this was the last thing on our list when we were thinking about kids when we were thinking about raising kids having kids 
Uh, my husband and I both come from Christian backgrounds, but had just really let it fall by the wayside. And even with uh, joining Open Arms Daycare, it was, again, completely for the Child Care Development Center. Uh, the first drawings that Nicole, at age one and a half, started coming home, her first scribbles on paper were on, you know, little cartoon characters of Jesus and Mary of Joseph, of the different Bible stories. And of course, what do you do with your children's artwork when it comes home? It goes right up on the, the best place in the house is the refrigerator. And to have that coming into our life in such a, a beautiful and non-threatening way, uh, it actually took a couple years for my husband and I to realize that, oh my goodness, we're actually saying grace before meals now. Because when your one and a half year old comes home and before they eat their peanut butter and jelly sandwich, say, mommy, we need to pray, it's just so natural and it feels so right. As a 40 year old adult, I um, have been baptized in the Lutheran Church and I was actually baptized on the same day as my two children. Based on my experience and again having started open arms strictly looking for the best daycare, child care, I really want to stress child care not daycare, there's a huge difference there, um, that anybody looking for a Christian foundation or not just to come to an open arms child care facility where even though you don't realize it the foundation is God, the foundation is Christianity, the foundation is teaching good values and and it really does and I am, I am a prime example, my family and I, of how it really does just kind of slowly come into all facets of your life and, and in just such wonderful, beautiful ways. Stories like these are being written every day in the 50 and more centers that have been started with the Open Arms model. If you have been moved by Krista and Linda's stories, we invite you to join us in supporting the Open Arms Institute. You too can have an important role in fostering and guiding Lutheran church planting and gospel outreach with child development ministry. <music>